Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you this 2011 Lincoln Navigator. The dealership I am at is Cardinal Kia Motors in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Here is some of their current inventory. If you see anything you'd like to see, drop it in the comments below and I'll get a video of it for you. As well, there is some inventory up there. So, we'll get this vehicle started up via remote starter, which is like so. Starting off with this front driver corner, we have Pirelli tires, which are 275 55R20s on chrome wheels, which are aluminum wheels by the way. Looking at the side of it, you'll see a lot of chrome accents from the roof rack, the mirrors, the band below the doors, the door windows, and the band along the bottom of the door that says navigator on it, as well as your door handles. It does come with power, uh, power running boards, which do fold up to the rockers. And coming to the back, you see your gas door is on the driver's side of this vehicle. And you have taillights with a chrome surround as well. Your Lincoln badge in the middle, and your navigator on the right. You have a trailer hitch cover right there at the bottom, and a chrome tip exhaust. You have a reverse camera located right there. We'll unlock the door. And, oh, there's a power lift gate as well, actually. So, once you're in the back, it's quite large. To fold down the seats, it is power. The front to the middle row is not power, those just fold down manually. And to close the trunk, just press that button and it closes for you. Okay guys, so the glass one is right over here. Open up the glass and you'll see it's perfect for loading groceries in and such. Close that up. And we'll head around to this side and take a look over here. Once again, all your chrome carries on to all the way around the vehicle. And coming around to the front, now you'll notice projector headlights as I come around. And fog lights as well, as a very large amount of chrome on the front with a very large Lincoln emblem in the grill. Now, let's show you what we got for a power plant under the hood of this thing. Under the hood of this Lincoln Navigator, we have a 5.4 liter V8 which is a Triton engine, <coughs> which puts out 365 horsepower, 310 horsepower at 5100 RPMs and 365 foot-pounds of torque at 3600 RPMs. For fuel economy, you'll expect to get 17 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 12 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway, with a combined of 14.8 liters per 100 kilometers. The fuel tank size on this is 106 liters. Very nice engine bay. Plenty of room to work around it too. Close up the hood, and you'll notice another chrome band across the top of the hood.
coming up to the driver door, you'll notice you do have the keyless entry pad right here. And we'll open up the door, and your assist step will come out. <laughs> Look at the driver door panel, which is the same as all the door panels. You'll see a mix of wood grain, chrome, with your navigator badge, badging in it. Some brown panel with your window switches and your mirrors in it. Leather stitched armrest. Lincoln badge down here. Speaker, storage pocket, and a tweeter up there. Coming on in, you'll see that it has a full black leather interior with full power seats. Power recline, power adjustment forward and back, power lumbar, and memory. Now we'll step right on in this vehicle. And we'll close up the window. Which is auto up and down for the two front windows. <coughs> Starting over here you'll see you have a large vent and right below it is your headlight switch. Which you have auto, off, and everything all available at the right here. Power pedals, your e-brake and release are right down there. Your gauge lighting is right there. And coming up to your gauge cluster, it's a very, very nice classic Lincoln look. I really like it. Now, okay, so you have a little bit of an information center here. It's 4x4 auto right now. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. This is four wheel drive selectable. It's that really just nice, really classic look. And you come over here, you have your signals and wipers all in one, as well as your high beam switch. Steering wheel is leather wrapped with wood accents again, which carry throughout the whole interior. Cruise control and radio settings. This, co this vehicle comes equipped with my Ford Sync and very large airbag with a Lincoln logo in it. Coming to the center stack, you'll see at the top you have your THX certified. Upgraded stereo system and you have your in-dash navigation system. Coming down below that, you have your auto climate control which is dual zone and your fan speeds and your heated seats are located right here your info buttons for the infotainment center are right here traction control and open and close for the rear hatch as well as hazards right there right below it like I said there's your four wheel drive switches open up this you'll see you have a cigarette lighter right here and I'm guessing this was an ashtray at some point in time, but probably was never used as one. You do have a reverse camera, like I said, and to put that on, all you do is put this into reverse, and it comes up on the radio display screen. Two cup holders right there. Lift this up. You have a large pocket with your auxiliary and USB in it. Kleenex holder, I think that is, and you have your literature for the car right in here. It is leather and padded, and you come across the dash and you see another airbag. Open up the glove box. It's kind of a small glove box, but it would hold the literature for the vehicle. Driver door and passenger door are both mirrored to each other. You have garage home link right here. A lit visor with a double visor so you can flip this over and you drop this one down. Open this up. You have a sunglasses holder. You have a sunroof with all your functions right here and your dome lights. Auto dimming mirror. Sunroof which also has a cover. Black headliner. Airbags down the curtains of the vehicle. So,
Now let's head into the back and see how that is. The automatic running boards do automatically come down when you get out of the vehicle. So be careful of that when you're getting out of these vehicles. And it comes back down again. <laughs> these door panels all have the same materials in them. Leather inserts, brown trims with your wood grain right here and your navigator logo right there. Step right on into this part of the vehicle now. And you'll see you have map pockets in the back of each of these seats. Two cup holders there, two more cup holders there, and you have audio video plugs and such right there. And rear climate control, as well as rear heated seats. 110 volt power outlet, and another 12 volt. Very nice vehicle back here. You have an armrest which lifts up to another large center console in the back seat. As well, leather and padded. To get into the third row of this vehicle, all you do is lift this fully and then lift it again. Seat flips forward and you can just step right on in. on the seat. This is actually a really comfy seat for a third row seat. You have rear vents, rear lights, and more speakers back here, as well as a factory sub right there. Two cup holders there, one cup holder here. And to fold these seats forward, simply flip this, and it should come forward. Little storage pocket right there. And to get out, it's very easy. Just walk right on out. Put that back down. Put that back up. And it's done. So we'll take one more quick pan around the outside. You can see the running boards folding up into rockers again. <coughs> and then, close up the video and on to the next vehicle for you guys. 2011 <coughs> Lincoln Navigator with navigation, chrome all over it, 20 inch wheels, 5.4 liter V8, four wheel drive. Sunroof, leather interior, heated front and rear seats. Very nice vehicle, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm at Cardinal Kia in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and share this video. Have a great day, everyone.